Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about double FA authentication. Uh, the idea is to uh, add the security layer to your uh, Matomo installation by um, asking the given login user to give another uh, password, let's say, or at least uh, authentication code. Um, this is a feature which is uh, available now by default within the new version of Matomo Analytics that you will find within system and then general settings. And uh, within the general settings over here, you get the two-factor uh, authentication app. Um, so here you need to tick the box in order to activate it. Um, so it's, uh, it's as well a plugin uh, which is defined in core and that you can disable afterward. But just to let you know, by default, you will have it within uh, the new version of Matomo Analytics. This part is important because that's the one which will appear within your uh, app system. So uh, here, give it a name, which is very explicit. Uh, it's really useful if you are used to connect to different instances of Matomo. Probably you don't want to let the word analytics and you really want to give the name of the instance instead. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's activate it. So just click on save. Uh, Nothing is going to happen now. Uh, what you need is, um, in order to see it for the first time, you need to sign out. And then it's once you sign yourself back in, that you will see uh, the, let's say, the installation process, let's say, at least configuration system. So here uh, it's giving you the uh, passphrase uh, key that uh, you should uh, save carefully on, a, let's say, on a, on a drive or any anywhere safe where you could pick it up. It's kind of the equivalent of I forgot my password. So the best thing is to download it and then uh, put the file somewhere else or just copy this or print it. Uh, this screen you will just see it this time, you will not see it uh, later on. So that's where it's, it's really important to, to have it. Then you click on next. Um, then what is asking you here is to take uh, a map. Uh, that you have already set on uh, your uh, smartphone, for example. So it can be uh, either uh, all those um, authentication service. Of course, the more popular is the Google Authenticator one. Uh, and uh, what you need to do is once you have your uh, app uh, running, you need to scan this given uh, QR code. And what it's going to do is that it's going to make like a bridge to your uh, from your um, website to your smartphone and you will get a code and this given code given by your app represent the second uh, the second pass to look so uh, here i'm looking through my app and it's telling me that the code in order to move forward is this one so that's what i'm, I'm going to do so i confirm and then as a result i can go within my um, so at this step it's set so same thing if i go over here try to connect it's going to ask me once more uh, the authentication code so uh I don't know if it has changed or if it keeps the same. Let's see. Okay, so that's that's the same. It's uh, randomly generated on each time. There's a regeneration time. So of course, it's subject to change. Uh, if for some reason you start to see it as annoying and you would like to get rid of it, uh, just to let you know that it's not uh, like this, you need to go back within the general settings and you need to untick it, save. Uh, at this step, it's not going to help, not going to be enough. Um, so if you do so, you will be surprised to see uh, that you need as well uh, to authenticate yourself. And then you need uh, to disable the plugin. So now I'm backed in and now I need to click over here in the admin. I need to be a super user in order to do so. I need to go within the plugins. And then uh, when I'm within the plugin, um, here those are the all the core plugins, and the uh, two authentication is part of it. So it's a two-factor authentication settings gonna uh, send you back to the screen that I was showing you some minutes ago. And here you click on deactivate, and if you do so, then uh, that will uh, save our issue. So if you do so, and then you back inside. Uh, there's no double authentication anymore. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video.